Hi guys, welcome to another video. Deer into you down the man cave, which is this shed slash workshop. A little bit bored, so you're gonna have to put up with me with another video. And um, the video is um, something similar that I've already done already is um, a barrel clean and oh sorry, internal and external clean. Room with it on for a sec and. Um, Beautiful little gun, or I shouldn't say little, is my dad's. It's the Remington Vantage 1200. Um, if I can get his permission, you'll see a bit more of it. Obviously, on camera, it's, um, it's 177 caliber and it's sub 12 foot pounds, but it's a cracking, cracking gun. Anyway, back to the internal and external clean of a Springer. So, at the end, we've got two cloths. Um, everything that we need, sorry. Um, ultra fine uh, soft cloth by Napier. Yeah. Gun clean, which you've seen on the last bit of footage. That's my new one. Egan oil. Um, homemade um, pull through. So it does look a little bit pop down, but it works. And last but not least, the Napier yeah, patches. So, I'm gonna crack on now. Huh? Right. First up, you want to make sure the gun is actually on safe. Check to see that it's not loaded. And it's not. So just simply cock the rifle and cocked and place it back on um, you know your your stand or work area. And just same as the PCP. Turn the camera. You're just feeding it up the barrel, the pull through, hoop side first, till it comes out the breech. So keep doing that. And I'll just take the camera and show you uh, step by step. As you can see, it's come out that end. You want to take your patches. 177, I've said before, I believe is 2, and 22, I believe is 3. So, something to remember. Two patches. One, two. And you want gun cleaner first. You can clean it first. Make sure you've got a bit on it. Let the fumes, I always let the fumes uh, clear up first. Once we've done that, pull through. Be careful not to put too much because I notice it comes <coughs> excessively out of the breech, breech port. So just pull on the, the bottom again of the barrel. And then you're listening out for a very funny distinctive sound. And there we are, absolutely stinking. This gun is new and it haven't had that many shots fired through it. I just thought I'd do it because <coughs> I've done mine and I've done Big Ben, so I just thought I'd do Dad's as well. So, here we are. I'm just now going to repeat the process. Push it back through. Come on, nearly there. There you are, I'm just at the top. And repeat the process. This time though, I'm going to run um, an egg and oil through it. Through the barrel. So we're going to patches. And we want the egg and oil this time. Again, don't go too. If you do go a bit too too heavy with it, just just try and even it out a bit, like so I think works. And if you get, um, I tend to try and do more on the front one than the back pad patch. So, so again, just pull it through and listen out for the sound. 
There we go. And that's where the oil through that time. You can see it's that's clean. So I'm just gonna do a final two. I believe how quick it was on this one. God, mine's normally a lot more um a lot more patches on this. So as I said, this is brand spanking new this gun. Brand spanking new. I know some people are gonna be on here, why on earth is our brand new when you're doing a pull through or cleaning the barrel? Because it needs to run. You know, it does need to run. You need to keep up, you know, with your maintenance regularly. I'm a firm believer. Take care of your tools, and your tools will take care of you. I live by that, you know, with work and everything. So, same with the car. Look after the car, car look after you. Oh, but that's oh, not oh. always the case. <laughs> right. Here we are there. Job done. Right. Right. Now you want to at this point with your springer. Um, and decock the rifle. But as I've just found out on this one, you actually can't. So I'm gonna have to fire this one off a sack. So I don't like keeping guns. I don't believe in keeping guns cocked and uh, loaded. You, you know, you, you just shouldn't do it. So I'm just going to load her up and just fire it off, just to show it. That's my backstop, full of chopped up cardboard, and that's my backstop. So there, done. So now we want to crack on with the. We've done the internal. We're going to do an external clean now. So I'm just trying to position the camera. Something like. Uh, can't fiddle too much because the thing ends up on the floor. <laughs> right. Um, now we want to start with a external and a outer clean. One of your cloths, gun cleaner. And your wipe and go over all the areas on the, the rifle. Blue end, plastic, wood. Only place you can't do, as I've said before, are the optics. The lens. I, I do actually do the bodies of the um, uh, scope. I mean, this, this is a brand new gun. You can see that. I can. But um, mine's. Try and get a close up of that. Rem done on Dodge 1200. Um, I asked my dad nicely. I'll do a try and do a little review on this rifle because I'm shooting a PCP at the minute, and what I'm finding, if I can only do one thing, I can't do two. So me shooting a Springer again, I find very challenging. Um, but this, I find I shoot drill, so I'll see with him first if I can, and then I'll um, I'll do a little uh, review on it. So right, we're done with the gun. Uh, cleaner, that's right. Let's get the um, cloth, the ultra soft, maybe, yeah? and then just wipe over the areas so you've done. Take in any residue or any leftover, any, you know, whether put on maybe a bit excessive. Right, now we've done the cleaner, we're going to need to do the oil. So you take the other cloth now. You can oil. Same again. Like overall. Again, again. Um, one thing I noticed, um, I know the date of my gun was ma actually manufactured um, March 2012, so my gun's over a year old now, uh, year and a half, is it, something like that, so 
and I know this mine is as clean and as new as this and the simple reason behind that is and a few people have commented and asked you know god how is the gun so clean and I've said before it's because I do look after it because I do clean it and maintain it regularly so Sure. Absolutely deep in. And that's why I choose personally choose Napier because they do all the products you need and a very wide variety as well. So you know you can use for rifles, um live rounds, they do shotgun range. And just get in of course, just to shove it out. So you don't like the bipod. <laughs> Absolutely clean. That is us looking cracking paper. So um, that's why I've stuck with Napier, and they've all got, I believe, VP19, in it. and that prevents, uh, stops, prevents, and protects against rust, which is, you know, that's a thumbs up for me. Especially on air guns, you can take them out in the ring, and you won't go worry about them. You can come home and just use the, the patches and things like that. I did do right. We've got that, we need to give it a, a final wipe with this cloth again. Take anything off that shouldn't be on there because when you put it back in the gun case or leave it, I guarantee you'll get dusty. And you'll be thinking, well, what's happened? So I'm just trying to get in on the areas and show you what I've done. And there we have it guys, one clean rifle, and that's uh, internal and external PCP clean. As you've seen last time, the only other thing that I've done different on my PCP rifle was used um, lens pen on there. If you haven't checked out that already, check it out. Um, you know, the video shows how to use it in that, and uh, there we have it. One clean Remington Vantage 1200. So, hope you've enjoyed, and um, see you next time.